Good morning, everybody. Dad Bod Season here. Hopefully, everybody's having a great day. Got some new word on the Subi. Here's my other parts right down here. But the downpipe has shipped, have shipped out, and it will be here supposedly by Friday. So once I get it on Friday, I'll get this thing put on, and I can officially take it to stage two, where I will do another install and review on how to get to stage two. Um, once I have to get the tune and everything, and we will see how it how it increases from stage one plus to stage two. Um, it, it should be a pretty nice increase. I mean, it's uh, I'd say it's probably they say it's like a twenty say 20 to 23 wheel horsepower increase um but we'll find out i mean i already love this thing the way it is right now so anything more is just icing on the cake so we'll find out and later today we're gonna get a hold of this thing there's supposed to be some parts coming in for this thing today so that will be awesome because right now we're kind of running out of stuff to do on it until the parts come in so we're just trying to get anything and everything that we can uh, done and ready so we're just cleaning it up making sure it's really 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 nice before we start doing our other stuff to it so hopefully today we will get more parts so right now everybody we are taking off these nuts out of here so we can take off this little piece of trim and we'll be able to get to everything a whole lot better so just gonna take this off Alrighty, and here we are. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and see what it looks like. Let's just go in right to his air. Come this way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow, nice packaging. Really nice. Look at this. Boom. There she is in all of her glory. Do that. Block us. Alrighty. Alright, we went ahead. We lifted this thing up. Now we're going to take off the wheels. And we're going to start putting this kit on. Now that we got the wheels off, uh, we're going to go ahead and start taking this apart uh, we're just gonna do one side for now and then we'll switch over to the driver's side we're gonna stick with the passenger side right now cut that out this is a 19 you're gonna put on here you're gonna loosen this up we're gonna pop off we're gonna pop off the dust caps from the hubs and we're gonna remove the hub from the spindle we just did. Make sure you keep these. I always keep everything just in case you never know if you're gonna need it again. But make sure. Watch that. Alrighty, now that's disconnected. Bada bing, bada boom. Alright, now we're gonna take out the safety pin down here so we can remove the spindle. So, you can grab your cutters here. Now you can sit there and fight and try to pull it through. I just cut the thing. Get that thing on out. And 
14 just like the other ones. So, you're going to take your old one, and you want to get this out right on here. Let me show you here, let me call it the hammer. Alright, so you're going to want to pull this out of the inside of here. Bang, pull that out. You're going to put that in your new one. Take the caps, drop him on in, start going in. Cast back on. Boom. Boom. Right on the head. Same lined up right in there. Your bolt. I bought new ones. You don't have to. They say you can use your old ones. I bought new ones uh, because the threads on, my, on the last ones weren't the best shape. So I bought them a little bit longer. Yes. Jeez. I wanted to put two nuts on there just to make sure. So, which I might do later, I'm not sure yet. We'll find out. So, hand tighten that. And you're coming over here. And, let's see, you see this, so I can turn the wheel a little bit. Pull this out, turn the wheel. Okay, so. You don't want this on top, you want this on the bottom. So you're gonna turn this to where that is on the bottom. You're gonna take, there you go, put that. Now because of the powder coat and stuff on this one, you gotta actually tap these things in. Uh, just cause it's so, the paint's so thick in there. But once you get that done, you just go right on ahead here. And put the nut on. Well, first you're gonna put your washer. You put the nut. Now only do the first one hand tight until you get the second one in. And then you can tighten them both down. But as of right now, just tighten that one. And you go get your second one. Second one's going to go in. Hope it lines up. Boom, it does. Make sure it's in there. Washer. Nut. Okay. Make sure these things are on there pretty tight. Because if they're not, I mean, that's your steering. So, unless you want to go for a fun ride, which with no control, you want to make sure these things are on there tight. Now this thing turns freely. Perfect. 
Next, take put this on right there, and then you're going to grab. There you go. Just slide that right on in there. Nut. Now this one is your 19. Now this one definitely make sure you get this thing on there nice and tight. Just like that. Then you're gonna take the dust cover, pop the dust cover on, and then boom, you're ready for a wheel. That's all you need to do. Look at these beefy boys. They still have a good tread on them too. Maybe we'll keep that one for the next build. So, speaking of next build, if anybody wants their golf cart built or is selling a golf cart or knows someone selling one, comment the link or comment their information in the comments because I'm trying to buy another golf cart. I'm trying to find one because this thing has actually been a lot of fun and it's a lot of fun just to work on. And once this thing is all put together and finished, it's gonna look great and I'm gonna miss having it around. Boom, Alrighty. Now we're going to, up here we're gonna take this all first from here to here. So I wanna put that on that back side there. That was the right side, I haven't even checked yet. No, it's not. All right, what do we need? This is. Bang with the 17. Big old girl. This Off. All right, so we're gonna disconnect the rear shock here. So we're gonna loosen that up, pull that one off, and the one on the driver's side off. And uh, once we do that, we are going to um, drop it down. So we have to once you unpin this, you gotta lower the rear. So we did that, we lowered the rear down, lifted the frame back up so we can install uh, this guy right here. It's got a mount up there where the bracket used to be. 
it's gonna be hard for you guys to see that. So it's gonna mount in there and the, the new, the old shocks are gonna go to this new bracket. So there it adds in total six inches. Alrighty, so now we got these things installed in here. Um, definitely, definitely requires two people, I would say. Um, so if you can get someone to help you, try to recruit whoever you can, especially someone that can uh, lift things because it's pretty heavy. Unless you have like a full actual like car lift, doing it by with little lifts is kind of it's kind of a struggle, but we got it done. Here is the final product. Now, obviously, uh, got all the wheels on because the wheels haven't came in yet. So right now she's on blocks or bricks and we're waiting for them to come in. As soon as they come in, then we can put it on. But that's going to be the height of it. So, for those of you that really, uh, you know, can't judge, I mean, that's going to bring this call part up extremely high. Like, six inches doesn't seem like much. But going from a regular golf cart, raising it up six inches, it's, that's, a, that's a pretty, pretty big jump. Plus, we're also getting bigger wheels and tires than what we had originally so it's just gonna go up even more but with everything being said if you like this video make sure you like comment definitely subscribe tell everyone that you know that you think would enjoy these videos hop on the dad bod season train and i'll see you guys next time